Hello and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today, to reduce the noise, to listen? My name is Igor SF Walker and I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. Today, we look at The Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paulo Freire. The very moment when I do accept the struggle, in whichever form it may be, I actually accept my total responsibility for that struggle. The very moment I accept the fact I am actually a subject in my own story, I let go of the illusion that I am an object in someone else's. Things in life are happening for me, not to me. I have a choice. I can actually respond. Growth through learning is a natural step in participating in and in creating my own story. Understanding what kind of teaching is available, that is critical. Does it promote critical thinking and dialogue? Is it co-intentional? Is there common reflection and action? Is there discovery that we are permanent creators of our reality? Is there committed involvement instead of pseudo-participation? Or is it more of a banking deposit and withdrawal type of teaching and learning system that I'm getting involved in? Will I be identified as a receptacle, simply a container to be filled by the teachers? Is it promoting the idea of simply going with receiving, filling, storing, deposits to memorize and repeat. This banking type of a educational system does not promote creativity. It does not bring about transformation and it is very much transactional within created strict set of parameters. There's a lack of understanding that at all times a teacher is also a student and a student is also a teacher there's a need for reconciliation, the need for partnership. Education in any form cannot be based on a position of authority. What this creates is a society where one is the oppressed and the other is the oppressor. Intention and consciousness. The essence of consciousness is being one with the world and this behavior is permanent and unavoidable. Think about what kind of education we all have been receiving and our children today still do. What kind of a teacher, a leader would you want for yourself? The one that anesthetizes and inhibits creative power and attempts to maintain the submersion of consciousness, doing the thinking for the student and imposing personal thoughts onto them? or? the one promoting emergence, emergence of consciousness, critical thinking, bringing about dialogue, action, and transformation. How do you learn? What kind of a teacher is it coming from? Only through communication can human life have meaning. Let's start a dialogue. Leaders who do not act dialogically, but insist on imposing their decisions, do not organize the people. They manipulate them. They do not liberate, nor are they liberated. They oppress. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it and share it with the world. Subscribe to my channel and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. Get it. Read. Thank you. Love and respect.